Randall's Island is now home to another migrant shelter site, providing housing and other resources for up to 3,000 asylum seekers. Fox 5's Christine Russo has an inside look at the site and shares more on how the city continues demanding more support from the federal government. This is our newest site at Randall's Island. There's a total of six tents for single and married adults at the city's new center at Field 83. <laughs> One tent is still being built. The site was fully funded by New York State. The first bus of asylum seekers arrived this afternoon. Their first stop will be the medical intake center. Anybody arriving to our facility starting today will come here where we first will screen you for any communicable diseases. After that, they'll be linked with a caseworker. Then they'll go to the dorms. This site can hold up to 3,000 people, so everyone who comes here will get a cot, a lockbox to hold their things, and a QR code to scan in and out of the dorm. There's three meals served a day here, laundry on site, and 24-7 security on the property. Some of the first men that are going to come here are people that have been at our sites that are going to be able to come into this beautiful facility to work with caseworkers to start working on their next path. The rest will be asylum seekers who just arrived at Port Authority. Last fall, the city had a similar site on Randall's Island. At that point, the city says they had about 15,000 migrants in their care, but today they have roughly 60,000. We're keeping the things that worked well there. For example, we want to make sure that people can make it into any part of New York City to find jobs. The message remains the same as it was last year. The city needs a decompression strategy. They say there's now 100,000 migrants who have crossed into New York City since last year. And federal help is desperately needed. So you can see emergencies happening in California, Hawaii, following that model. Um, we have not had that full support here in New York City and we need that. While there's no exact deadline for how long people can stay, the goal is to get people settled in permanent homes as soon as possible. On Randall's Island, Christine Russo, Fox 5 News.